Jacob and I started Amara Brew Cruise because we couldn't help ourselves. We got the sickness of brewing, as I normally say. And uh, we thought that we could make some beer styles and offer the market something that wasn't existing in the beer market back in, in 2006 and 7. We really liked hobby beers, uh, seeing really nice beers coming out of the US at that time. Specifically here, I like the idea that AMA has, despite all the, the new trends in beer, AMA has always tried to maintain a very uh, varied portfolio. So it's not like we're stuck making the same beers over and over again. Because we can't stop playing, and we do around 70 to 100 different beers a year, and we're just playful with the, it's endless with the materials and the processes that you have in producing beer. So it's a playground for, for creative people, and, and we love to, to do barrel aged beers, new materials, fruit, conventional, traditional beer styles that that's also a challenge, so it's endless. The possibilities are endless. So you, you have to be on your toes, you have to be uh, observing not only what other breweries are doing, but also uh, what people want and be attentive to their feedback whenever you put out a new product. And also maintain yourself quality focused because it's not only about putting new product out there, it's about putting new quality product out there. BFS FT helps us improve quality. It saves time in our production and it gives us um, values all along the way so we can get better in brewing. Uh, once we have cooled the wort and it's going into the tank, we take a sample. So that's our starting point. Uh, and then you start analyzing it as fermentation progresses. So after a couple of days, maybe you start seeing if, you know, there's any activity, uh, where you are as far as gravity and all of that. And you keep track for, you know, ho however long fermentation lasts. And then uh, once the beer is packaged, we can open the beer and then put it in the, the machine as well. So you, you can follow everything from wort to fermenting wort to finally the beer that is packaged and all using small amounts, which is always good. We've been making barreled aged beer and we blend a lot of the barrels and we need the precise alcohol content to print the labels. And normally we wait for an external an analysis to print the label and in this way we don't have to wait because we get an in-house answer quite fast so we can print the label. So that saves, that saves a lot of time for us. Because we don't have a lab in-house, it has helped us get clarity on a number of things and mostly follow fermentation and, and give, give us a good idea of how our fermentation is developing. Not that we didn't before because we would take samples of the beers constantly, but now we, uh, we can actually analyze alcohol as well, which is something that we couldn't do before without outsourcing that. And that has been quite fun to work with, especially because we have uh, barrel aging projects. And once the beers go into the barrels, it's a bit of a mystery what happens. So we have been able to, you know, pick samples out of barrels and, and see what's going on with them. That we actually know uh, how much alcohol do we have at the end or in, in, uh, in the process, so we don't waste raw materials. There's no need for that. You can see your employees actually likes the data and, and don't have to guess and don't have to wait on, on samples. It's, it, it's just nice and it, it, it lights a fire. I really want the brewers to, to feel excited. I think we get a better product the more excited people are when they're here. And it, it, it gives a better discussion for them at lunch that, okay, this beer didn't move. Why didn't it move? And, and so on. So we, it helps us be better brewers. The data helps us be a better brewery. And not only that, uh, one of the very cool features, specifically for me, because I'm into that kind of stuff, I guess, uh, has been uh, being able to export the data into a graph and be able to see fermentation graphs and how fermentation is behaving as, as well as, you know, the formation of alcohol and what the extract looks like and things like that. So. Um, 
if, if you start breaking it down, the possibilities are endless, really.